Commander, incoming signal from 5th Fleet HQ on the Citadel. Commander Shepard, something uncomfortable has just come up. In the first contact war, we fired a lot of espionage probes into Turian space. We just received a mission complete burst from one of them. Where's it been in the meantime? No idea. Lost in transit. These probes were built in a hurry after first contact. What makes this uncomfortable? When these probes were launched, we didn't have any idea who we were fighting. We didn't want to risk aliens examining our technology. The probe has a demo nuke built in. A 20 kiloton tactical fusion warhead. About equal to the bomb dropped on Hiroshima back in the 20th. If somebody finds that probe, tampers with it. You don't need me to finish, Commander. I understand this must be handled. But I don't have anyone trained to deal with this sort of thing, sir. I know. I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. These probes have been classified for 26 years. The Council will call fusion bomb booby traps dangerous and irresponsible. The Alliance would face censure if they find this probe. I'm asking you because the Normandy can get on site quickly and quietly. It's in the Voyager cluster. We'll get on it immediately, Admiral. And we'll be discreet. I appreciate that, Commander. Good luck. Fifth Fleet out. Ooh, new missions to do. Excellent. So that might be the shipment that it was mentioned, Pharaohs. Somebody must have found it. And if that thing goes off, well, bye bye to that planet for 10,000 years. Wow, there's a lot of stuff here to uh, survey, which is good. Ooh, this planet is red. Looks pretty sinister, actually. Okay, so we got a bunch of things pretty close together, which is nice. Alliance human uh, home and beacon. So I'm gonna assume that's where the nuke is being held at. So it's sort of a fa uh, fail safe system in a way. So pretty much anybody that any aliens that find it and try to examine it, uh, everything go kaboom, mushroom cloud, everything's dead essentially. Since everything's so wet, it's gonna be kind of hard to find a patch of land so my vapor can traverse easily. Oh yeah, this planet is really red. Kind of looks like you're in Mars. Well, even Mars is not even this damn red. This is like total weak on Mars. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Looks like we got another site here we can investigate that is not in the map, by the way. Might as well check out what the hell is over here. Could be just basic anomalies. There's a. Destroyed aircraft. And there's a dead person here. What are you, Mako? What the hell are you doing? Yeah, I, uh, I'm not. I don't know. Might have to switch to the old controls for the freaking uh, Mako. I'm not digging this new one. But rush away the commoners in on the door of the uh, con the contra gravity speeder. You see the nasal brand name. Judging about the charging, the wreckage has been here since the SARS last variable peak. The corpse is wearing the remains of an expensive suit and what appears to be mounted antique aviator glass uh, goggles. Okay, and the mystery deepens. So whoever was here is somebody fancy. What the hell is that? Okay, I thought that was a like a dead body of some sort. Alright. Interesting. Clearly somebody set a shop here. Got APC and shit here. And then we got a uh, Alliance human beacon there, which more likely is going to be a trap of some sort. Ooh, that looks like another area we could go to. I think that's where we might end up disabling the bomb. Because I do remember you got to have to disable the bomb. Because if it goes out, it's bye bye all of us. There it is. There's the entrance to some sort of underground facility. Strange as it's like literally nobody here, and there goes my mate go. <laughs> Alright, let's go people. It's showtime. Could be mercenaries, bandits, we don't know what we're dealing with, but... Let's see what kind of situation we're gonna assess to. Mm, it's quiet. Okay, you know, before we move on, let's freaking save. Because this game don't have no auto checkpoints. So you might want to save often in Mass Effect 1 at least because you might end up starting the whole game. Alright, who is... Who, who, who. Wow, it's really quiet. There's nobody here. 
a small ambush. Okay. It's a lot of fucking containers here. My question is, where is everybody? It's quiet. Almost too quiet. Alright, well, let's go in here, I guess. Is anybody here? Mm, there's the bomb. Oh my fucking god! Oh my god! <laughs> Someone just screamed. Oh my god. <coughs> Shepard. At last. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> god damn. First jump scare in Mass Effect, everybody. Holy shit. Who the hell are you, at last? Have we met? My name is Ilanos Heliot. I doubt you know it. Who do you think runs the Terminus Clan, Shepard, huh? Thousands of pirates, slavers, criminals of every stripe? You assume I give a damn. That's cute. The strongest leads. The one who kills the most men, seizes the most ships, pillages the most colonies. Three years ago, I was the strongest. I used my influence to assemble a fleet. We would drive your kind out of the Verge. You organized the attack on Elysium. Too bad we kicked your ass back into Terminus, huh? I was the motivator. The instigator. The one who promised glory and riches for sacking the largest human colony in the cluster. The one blamed when it failed. Failed! I was ruined when your kind held against the Blitz! What better way to recover my reputation than by eliminating the first human specter? My crew will come for me. Oh, let them. We'll be ready. An Alliance warship would make a fine prize. Oh, and if you haven't noticed, the oars here are laced with heavy metals. I'm afraid your suit radios aren't powerful enough to transmit. Ah, uh, yeah, that's why there's a lot of shit in there. You'll see me again, Halliot. Count on it. <laughs> I rather doubt that. Goodbye, Shepard. What do we do now, Shepard? Uh, we're gonna kill his ass. We find a way out. Someone up there needs my boot up his ass. See if there's anything <laughs> in here we can use. <laughs> there's no time! You have to sit on the bomb before it goes off. Okay, oh my god. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Do this old-fashioned way. Oh, oh shit! There's more. Okay, luckily it's easy. It's easy. It's easy to do. Ha! <laughs> really? You gotta do something better than that. Really? Please. All right, we're gonna hunt down this motherfucker now. That's why you put all. What the fuck? Uh oh. Harrison! Oh my god. <laughs> I forgot that bug was still doing. What the hell? Oh yeah, he, he blasted the dude so we couldn't get out. Okay. Let's have our weapons out because I have a feeling we're going to get ourselves into a firefight. I think having an assault rifle is probably the best thing to have out right now. Well, luckily we're not too far from it. Just gotta head to that mercenary camp. That's where they're hanging out. Which is this way, actually. Oh, there's people out there, right? You know what? Let's get the snapper rifle out. What? Oh, but they got a sniper still. Oh my god, rapid fire though. Oh, 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 oh. That Kogan would not want to die. This, okay, this snap rifle is stupid. <laughs> okay, that's gotta be that Torian asshole right there we gotta deal with. This is this is like some ridiculous rapid fire shit. Oh, you dead buddy. Watch this! 
Wow. Almost a oh, full mag dump on that guy. Oh, and he's dead. Alright, watch this. There's our Mako. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Speedy Gonzalez on that shit. Look at this crazy motherfucker. How are you not dead? <laughs> Helen went through a lot of shards of joy here. A pity Anna like this. Wear him at least. Now that you're above ground, your suit ready has re-established connection with the Nomini. Time to get the hell out of here. You damn right. Nice try on that, motherfucker. You thought you can uh, bury me alive and take my makeup? Nice fucking try. Nice fucking try, motherfuckers. All right. Well. We dealt with the problem with the bomb, so it turns out Terminus fucking pirates uh, got in the hands on it. And that would have been bad if they used that on, you know, a Asari or a Turian or a Salarian Colony, because that will blame on the Alliance because it's Alliance weapons. Okay, cool. Well, now we're done with that shit, it's time to head to Armstrong Nebula and take out the GIF. That one's going to be a long one, everybody. So buckle up. All right, there's freaking Armstrong Nebula. That's a big one, everybody. Patching it through. Normandy, Admiral Hackett here. We're getting reports of a marked increase in Geth activity in the Skillian Verge. Surveillance drones have identified Geth outposts on four different planets in the Armstrong cluster. We need someone to take them out. We have any idea what they're after? Hard to say. They may be just gathering intel on us. Or maybe they're setting up staging grounds for hit-and-run attacks on human colonies. It could be the first wave of an invasion. Let's hope not. We need someone to investigate this, Shepard. Finding Saren is still your top priority, but you've got experience fighting the Geth. You're the logical choice to take out these outposts. We're transmitting all the locations of known Geth outposts in the Armstrong Cluster to the Normandy now. Admiral Hackett out. Yeah, you heard that, everybody? Four planets. That will mean all, all the systems here we're going to have to go to and take out the GIF. Like I said, this one's going to be a long one, so buckle up. There's going to be a lot of GIF shooting. All right, we're back on another red planet, it looks like. We got overrun research outposts. We got anomalies. We got debris. Okay. Seems pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Those mountains there don't look fun to traverse, but I think we got it though. So this one's just going to be delivered, just taking out the gift essentially. Like I said, we got to go all four planets essentially to complete this side of judgment. And it is going to take some time, but we'll, we'll we'll get it done. It's just it's going to take a while. Then after that, we'll probably do bring down the sky. Then we'll probably restock back at the Citadel. And then we do Vermeer afterwards. I'm, uh, excuse me, burping hot dogs. I'm very curious how Vermeer is gonna look uh, with the Legendary Edition. I did see some screenshot and Vermeer do does look a lot better than it used to look uh, in the original game. So I'm hoping it, it holds up with the visuals wise. Like I said, I'm hoping Mass Effect 2, 3, you know, they made some changes here because there are some. Some textures and meshes there that might need some remastering, but we shall see how it goes. Okay, we're getting pretty close to the research outpost, which is actually up here. I'm amazed they actually got here in one piece. Okay, so here's a bad sign. We're seeing a lot of the husk thing right here, which means we're gonna have a husk problem here. All right, uh, we're gonna probably get, we're gonna slap on the. I thought I had special uh, f Inferno rounds, but that's not the case, I guess. Oh man, it is uh, lots of stuff here. You know, at this point, I might as well just use some of my Omni gel. I don't feel like hacking, to be honest. I'm gonna get some of this back, anyways. Got some more weapon locker here. Yeah, I'm just gonna just use, use my Omni gel at the moment because I got so many. No need to keep a lot. We might end up finding Husk here. And maybe the Gev at the same time. Guess we'll find out, I guess. Oh, we got some Husk. Woo! Nope. 
is a kill. Love the shotgun. Uh, excellent. All right. That with those asshole. Let's go in here and see what we can find. Intel, maybe some people are still alive. We just don't know. How are you still alive? Nope. Not today. So clearly somebody was doing some sort of research here. What happened to the people that were here? Okay, there are a couple. Dead. So I got one more. Ugh. Okay, that can't be it, right? Ooh. Heavy armor matches. Unfortunately, I can't wear that, but Ashley will be able to wear heavy armor, so I might end up giving her the good shits. Okay. Ooh, Predator M. I'm pretty sure that one is better. It's better. The damage protection is not that great, but we can uh, transfer up upgrade though. Okay, looks like we're, it looks like some more enemies just spawned too, from the looks of it. There were not that many people alive. Or okay, we actually got we got Gef. Oh shit, we got Gef Gef Gef. Ugh. Uh, got got the real boy over here. Nope, 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 nope. Uh. All right, I'm moving. I'm moving. Uh. Okay, surprise gif attack. We paled. Not too bad. Not too bad. So does this count? Limited GIF outposts. I'm gonna assume this counts. Because I don't want to come back down here and the game said, Oh, you have not completed the objective. Because that would really, really get on my nerves. But I'm gonna assume we clear this area out. It's time we get the hell out of here. Oh shit, oh shit, get into the mickle. Nope. Uh-uh, uh-uh. We got a Mikko just on time. Nice tries. Uh. Get out of my face. <laughs> this should be fun. I'm glad Rex is enjoying the fucking ride. <laughs> he's, he's in mostly for the action. Okay, I do see something over there. Alright, so all we're, what we're gonna do is find that last anomaly, we get the heck out of this planet, and we'll land on the next planet to, and take out some more GIF outposts. Ooh, what a nice, nice looking snow planet. Two suns. Alright. Layout of the map looks pretty simple. I want to say though, the, the idea and concept, uh, concept of exploring uncharted worlds. It's fascinating, but like I said, Mass Effect 1, if you look at it now, is pretty dated, the mechanic-wise. And I will say it again, Mass Effect Andromeda, I'll say, is probably one of the first Mass Effect games to achieve that true planet, uh, no, uncharted planet. Exploration! I knew it was going to be one. There's going to be a damn Drash at some point. Hey! Just do it. Where you going? Where you going? Good. I'm about to say this about you, idiot. Where you going, buddy? Excellent. Same spot. To the left, looks like. It's getting a little bit smarter, I say. So much against my firepower, though. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of money. That is a lot of dead. Uh... Oh, there's people here, but we also got Geff as well. The vehicle in the human corpse will show the tell uh, tell signs of Geff weapons fire. The Geff has been mangled by the Drashmore. At least they got what was coming to him. Yeah, so they attack. 
They killed a person here, but at least they got at least the Thrashamar is no friend to the Geth. And what in the god names is that? Could be Protean. We're gonna find out right now. Yeah, Protean Bruin, yeah, figured. Let's recover the artifact. And boom! Alright. That's excellent. We put them, like I said, we put on reaching to the end here. Like, once we beat Bring Down the Sky and Vermeer, we are pretty much a straightforward to the end of the game, essentially. Get in there. Okay, the Gev Outpost should be in this uh, canyon right here. They might have some uh, heavy weapons like the Gev Colossal or the other walking tanks. So, we do gotta be a little bit careful here. We don't know what the hell we walk into. We could end up. We could end up getting absolutely messed up. Really? Really? This mate goes a piece of shit. You can make it over, come on. Whoa, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why. Stop. Yeah, they got big boys everywhere. Can we can't handle though. Excuse me? There we go, take that sucker out. Take the rocket troops out. Okay, let's go. Alright, watch this. Ugh. At least we can knock it down at least. <laughs> yeah, this is the big tanks. Stop it. Gone. Hey, oh. some more people. Nothing we can't handle. Nothing we can't handle. Oh, that's a gift prime. Houston, we have a problem. Oh, those are big boys. Those are the biggest boys of boys. Let's hit the next base. Damn, Rex, Rex is fucking, he's just pumped. He's ready. <laughs> he's ready to kill some more gift. All right. That was a little bit gnarly. They actually sent in the heavy hitters like the Gef Prime. That's the first time I've seen the Gef Prime in like a long time. All right, we got two more to go. All right, we're on the dirt planet where the Gef are pretty much amassing the invasion force. It looks like we actually got some fallen meteors coming from the skies too. I think they're just there for the looks though, so we technically don't have to worry about the meteors hitting us. Although there are some uh, meteor hit uh, impacts around the map, but we should be just fine though. Okay, there is a lot of gap activity at this fucking site. Supposed to be a, some sort of signal here before they investigate. Wow, there is a lot of heavy, uh, a lot of heavy tanks here. Right, gotta keep moving. More battles key. Nope. Yeah. Our shit would hold. Nothing we can't handle. Zoop. Ooh. Excellent. Uh, exactly this gap transmitter. Okay, okay. Shepard, stop. Stop. The hell was that bullshit all about? <laughs> the gap array is transmitting regular data bursts on the encrypted channel using the Alliance's own FTF combos. It's not clear where the data is being directed, nor the content of the signal. Well, let's turn that shit off. So that we don't get any more intel. Okay, then we got a gap outpost here we gotta take out. So we're doing a lot of work already by taking out all this gap out. The damn alliance better fucking let me retire early at this point. Oh, our signals are being jammed, which means we're getting pretty close to the gap outpost. It's probably gonna be the same idea. We'll probably have to deal with gap colossus, potentially gap primes. Like I said, luckily we got our trusty old uh, uh, maker with us here, and I do see some towers there up ahead. You dead? You dead? You dead as well, sir? <laughs> Woo! Easy. Nope. So it looks like we got some more gift, and they're gonna send a dropship. 
It's a drop ship. No sound. That's fucking good. All right, let's, let's see if we can blow this shit up, shall we? Oh god. Nope. I right, just gotta keep dropping troops off. I'm going to damage it with the fucking uh, guns, uh, the cannon looks like. That's all fine. We can do this shit all day. This is infinite XP. <laughs> We can do this shit all day, my friend. Yeah, we can do this shit all day. This guy's giving me a shitload of stuff. <laughs> okay, and this should finish it off. That's the one. Alright. Let's deal with that. Now we got one more planet. Oh, and we almost missed that material. We got one more planet before we uh, pretty much complete pretty much all of the side missions at this weight. So we're getting pretty close to the end here, guys. Once we get this shit done, we can finally do that DLC mission and complete Vermeer. And not before we serve it this last whack, though. All right, we're on the last planet where the Geth are holding out at. We already took out three planets. This is the last planet that we have to do a clean sweep. Then after that, the Geth threat shouldn't be a big problem. Now, I believe uh, if you don't do this side mission, it does have a cause and effect type of thing in Mass Effect 2 as well. I think the Geth you'll be facing in Mass Effect 2 you know, will be a lot more stronger, I'll say. I'm not entirely sure, but you know me, I'm... I'm almost like a completist. I always like to you know, do, do as many side missions as much as I can before moving on. And that's what we're doing right now for Mass Effect 1 because we're going to need all that resources and assets in uh, Mass Effect 2. And like I say guys, I cannot wait to play Mass Effect 2 because it's been too long since I played Mass Effect 2. And I will still say it to my heart, Mass Effect 2 is, is probably the best of the whole series. Mass Effect 3 is good though, uh, don't get me wrong, I do actually love Mass Effect 3. Mass Effect 3 shouldn't get all the hate it, it, it should get. The ending, yes, it does suck, but uh, I still think Mass Effect 3 is still a pretty solid game in the whole trilogy. But I want to say this, Mass Effect 3 is definitely a better game than Mass Effect Andromeda, despite Andromeda doing a lot, you know, some things right over the trilogy. but. I don't know, I still think Mass Effect 3 is so pretty good in my book still. Alright, we're here at the last Gaff Outpost. Seems like that's gonna be a lot of fucking turrets. Oh yeah, I see him. Looks like there's actually a path that goes all the way up there, looks like. That's uh, interesting. Which means the Gaff Outpost is gonna be up there, looks like. Please. Alright, we're making our way up, I guess. Luckily, there's a nice little path for us to take. Like I said, our shields... Yeah, our shield is pretty much good for the Mikko. Like I said, we're pretty much unstoppable at this weight. The only thing that can really stop us is if we switch to difficulty to, you know, hardcore or insanity. That's where the game will get, you know, really fucking hard. Alright, Mr. Gifts. Oh. Our, jam, our scanners are jam. That's fine by me. We can handle this. Stop it. Nope. Easy. Uh, got one more asshole here. Okay, there's a rocket troop. You're dead. Whoa, big boy. Big boy here. Woo! Dodge that just in time. Get out of my face. <laughs> Ooh. I thought easy. one of these outposts would be a major base of operations. Hold on. This receiver's picking up some kind of transmission. Based on the signal strength, I'd say it's coming from inside this star cluster. The main Geth base. 
Use the signal to lock onto its location and go take it out. Well, looks like our job is not done yet. Okay, so we pretty much explore what we can here. So looks like we got a Gef bunker that we gotta take out in another freaking system in the same cluster. All right, well, it's our time to, so to destroy the main Gef base once and for all. All right, we're here at the last planet here uh, where we gotta deal with the Gef main base of operation. So this this planet has a level, we uh, level one heat hazard. Surprisingly. For a planet this dark, you'd think the planet would be cool, but, you know, what should I know? Every planet's gonna be different regardless. It looks cool, but as you notice, it's pretty damn close to the damn sun. So I can see why this planet is gonna have some sort of heat hazard. I'm not sure if for this part you have to go into, into like an astral bunker or it's gonna be just like the same thing with the Mako. Where you just fend off, you know, hordes and hordes of, uh, of Gev troops. But I think this one you actually do gotta go inside though. Alright, we're getting pretty close to the bunker. I think this is the one we do actually have to enter the bunker. Yep, there's a building right there. There's a Gev Colossus hanging out there as well. Lots of heavy firepower, right? Not that we can't handle. We got two Colossus. Again, not that we can't handle. These guys are fairly easy to take out. Maybe slow. Just gotta ram this motherfucker. Ugh. Go to sleep. Woo! Got some more gap here to deal with. Not sure. Oh god! Oh, wow, that still hit me. But we're still good though. Boom! Get the heck out of my way. Oh, <laughs> the Wagdon though. Alright, and this is probably the part where we should definitely save. Because it's gonna get real fucking gnarly, I'll say. Alright, let's go in, everybody. I really does that really get for you. Uh, can't see big douche McGee over there. Nope. That was an absolute huge miss right there. Oh my lord. Uh. Okay, Tally, you get rid of the Overlord. So use the shield. Okay, Tally, AI had that fucker. Okay. That guy should be up. That guy should be with us. Okay, it's time to switch to Snapper Rifle. Okay. Stop it. Never a lot. Got a big boy hiding up there. Can't find it. There's a there he is. Get the heck out of my face. Ah! Wow. Almost fucking took his ass out. As the last scare falls, you hear music from across the room. On the monitor, a coin stands before a hushed crowd. Wibbling, uh, wobbling a mournful a capella of wheels and innocent lots. The recorded song is dispatched to the Gev Rules behind the purse's veil. The, term the transmitter shuts down. Maybe Tally would know what the hell that means. Tally? Form up. My name on it. Oh, wow, she got knocked the fuck out. <laughs> you want to say something about that, Tally? Do you know something about that song? Okay. See, we have sniper weapon skill to the max. We will probably would have one shot all those guys out like nothing. Okay, we do got a gift terminal, which may indicate more intel. Okay, that's a lots of fucking lots of blocks to deal with. Ah! Ah! Wow, too close. And then we got a gift terminal here. I have some more intel for us. You discover a number of encrypted Geth identifiers in the proper hands that can reveal much of the, much about the evolution of the Geth since the banishment of the Koreans. Let's download the data. Maybe Tally should take a look at it, you know? Rally round. And, and you know, Tally's just standing there being a creep. <laughs> what the hell is going on with that? Okay, I think we did what we can here. All we gotta do is just search this place up, get the heck out of here, and let 
and let Hackett know the good news that we had dealt with the main invasion force. Or well, potential, I should say, because we. It's not going to be any invasion anytime soon, that's for sure. Alright, so to, to complete this quest, we are going to have to talk to Tally. Which I, I'm going to assume is is related to that data we just got in, in the last Gev we killed, too. About playing music. So, I was about to say, as a, Tally's got to say something about that. And we're about to find out right now what she's going to say. Tally? There she is. Hey, Dally, how's it going? Shepard, I need to talk to you. It's important. Is something wrong? You know the data you took from those Geth control nodes? The information you uploaded to Alliance Control? I want a copy of it. You want to bring this data back to the migrant fleet? Those files have information that could be vital to our efforts to understand the Geth. It could be the key to helping us reclaim our homeworld. It'll take years to decipher and analyze the data. Maybe even decades, but it's worth the time. This information will give us new insight into how the Geth have changed and evolved over the past centuries. Go ahead. Make a copy. My people, I owe you a great debt. One I can never repay. The only thing I can offer in return is what you already have. My solemn promise to stay with you until Saren and his Geth armies are defeated. I never wanted anything more. Thank you, Shepard. Alright. Well, that concludes that mission. We're pretty much, uh, like I said, we're pretty much ready to go to Vermeer, but we still gotta complete Bring Down the Sky. And if I last remember, Bring Down the Sky wasn't, uh, wasn't too long. It was actually a shorter mission. So we're gonna do Bring Down the Sky. And I believe there's also uh, choices we can make too in the game. We gotta do Reganade or Paragon. So we're gonna see how that goes. Did we level up? No. But we're getting pretty close to level 30. Once we get to level 30, we're pretty much ready to fucking go.